Hi, this video will show how to use Blender to make custom morphs for the clothing in Daz 3D. Make sure to take the like and subscribe button hostage and brutalize them just horribly until the algorithm pays my ransom. The first thing to do is make sure that the clothing item is properly fitted to your character. I'm using a Gen 1 character mainly just because I like the look of this dress and it also has all the textures and things that could potentially be a problem, but this method works really well. It doesn't matter what type of uh, Genesis character you use as long as the clothing item is fitted properly to it. So it's incredibly important to get all of your settings correct. There's about four different times where if you use the wrong settings, this will not work. I'm really going to hammer that home multiple times throughout this video. The first one to keep in mind is when you go up to your parameters tab, you're going to see this here at high resolution. That needs to be switched over to base. If you don't switch this over to base, you're going to get an error message when you try to bring it back into DAZ. Make sure the dress is also at base, and it should be because it's parented to the figure that I just changed. Then come up to your scene tab here. Click on this little I to effectively turn off the Genesis character. Make sure that the clothing item is selected. Now I'm going to export it. Go to File, Export, Make sure it's a wave format object OBJ. I'm going to go with dress one, two, three, because why not? And make sure it's in a file that you can easily find. Save. Now, when you get to this option, go to DAS Studio. This will give you all the necessary uh, format requirements except for one. You need to make the scale from 100% uh, down to 1%. Push accept. It's all good. Now I'm going to switch over to Blender and it makes your life a lot easier if you keep both programs open during this entire time you're working. It's an Occam's razor moment. Just keep it simple. Now I'm going to get rid of uh, everything in this scene because I really don't need it for this. Come up to File, Import, Find Wave Format OBJ, Dress 1, 2, 3, and make sure you have the OBJ and not the MTL file because they'll have the same name, but the OBJ is what you want. But before you actually push Import, go over here to Geometry, Keep Vert Order, select the polygons. If you don't do this, horrible things will happen to your item. Like this. Ah! Kill it! Kill it with fire! <sighs> oh god, that was awful. So now that nightmare fuel is over, click on import. Now that I have the item, it's still technically fitted to the character, but obviously I don't have the character to kind of get in my way. And with the item selected, Go up here to this top corner here where it says Object Mode, change it to Sculpt Mode. And because I said I wanted the plunge line here to actually go down, but with Sculpt Mode, it's actually easier to build it up, which when I go into negative numbers will give me the option of bringing the plunge line either up or down to where I want it. I'm not going to go into huge detail on how to sculpt because this works whether you want to make a simple morph or an incredibly elaborate morph, and I kind of assume you don't want to watch me sculpt for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to keep it very, very simple for the sake of this video. If you want to keep along, I clicked on Smooth, and this little X up here, which means that any changes I make will be symmetrical. And... So, I'm actually pretty happy with that. For a super simple teaching tool moment, I think this is actually perfectly adequate. Make sure the uh, address here is selected. Go back up to File, Export. 
Again, keep it wave format OBJ. Make sure it's in a file you can easily find. Then make sure that your settings match what I have here. Make sure that you have the scale be at 100. Even though I only have one thing in the shot, it's still a good habit to get into. So once your settings match what I have here, and your file is in something you can easily find, give it a name. I'm going to go with uh, dress123. Back into DAZ. Now, the dress needs to be selected. It still is. That's why I leave everything open, just to simplify my life. Come up here to Edit, Object, Morph Loader Pro. Come here to Morph, uh, Choose Morph Files, and also make sure, just double check that DAZ Studio settings are right here. Find your file, click Open. Then come down to your little carrot here, and where it says Create Control Property, do a left click, then a right click, and then change it to Yes. Then Accept. Says the morph was successfully created. Then come up here to Parameters. So now I come here, and it's again, it's a very subtle change, but it does appear to have worked. And I'm going to test it in with the skin of my character. Just turn it back on. See here in parameters. Yep, there's no poke through. I'm good. Now, functionally, I have this morph where I want it. The problem is if I get out of this one file, this morph is not saved. So the next step is to save it properly. Take it up to 100%. Then go to this little gear here. That's for settings, parameter settings. Dress123 is kind of a terrible name, so I'm going to go with neckline. So we're, here where it says path, this is where in your shapings menu it's going to appear. I'm just going to keep it under actor and that's really just all I need type modifier shape. Leave that alone. I actually like to leave my uh, custom morphs with a custom color just because that way I, they're easier to find amongst all the other ones. I'm going to go with bright red to dark red, 100% negative numbers, 100% positive numbers, push accept and it vanished. So now that it's nice and highlighted, I have it all set. Push it to 100%. Go over here to File, Save As, Support Asset, Morph Asset. So under Morph Asset, I just have to find where I put it over here. And I just put it under General, and here it is my name, Neckline. And if I did everything right, if I delete the dress and then bring it back in a new one, and there it is. And that is how you do this. Obviously, you can get as much, much more complicated if you want, but the general principle is always the same. If you have any questions or comments, straight up abuse, or hey, if you have some other ideas you want me to make, that's what the comment's for. And again, if you really want to help me out, please like and subscribe. Thank you.